reality of it is we are cheap when we search because we search for cheap accommodation, cheap flights, cheap ADSL. So what you're having to look here now in front of you, you will see a blue line which is your title and your meta description. What we need to do is show you how to identify these areas when you put together a website. Most people who approach a website from start will not do the SEO strategy first. They will simply go to a web designer and say, hi, please build me a pretty website. This is what I want to look like. Not giving any thought to what the key performance indicators are for the business and what they actually want the website to achieve other than selling the product. When you look at what causes your website not to work for you, one of the major factors that are hurting you is you're not ranking on Google. And the major things that impact on your ranking is generally a very poor understanding of the psychology of the person who is going to your website. Most people who build a website are of the opinion that they just need to put the products on the website so people can go there and buy it. What they don't realize is that 90% of people going onto the internet are actually looking for information and then, based on that information, will make a buying decision. There's also things like Panda Update, where Google have changed the algorithm. Recently, there was a Penguin Update, which again focused the changes on the algorithm. Um, Google likes to change its algorithm on a monthly basis, purely to enhance the experience of the user. And as such, they are making changes all the time. And unfortunately, if your website is not kept up to date, i.e. your keywords are not focused correctly and your website is not indexed correctly, you will sometimes be on the short end of the stick when it comes to a Google update. One of the other things is fresh content. A lot of people are of the opinion that once you've built a website, you never need to update it. Unfortunately, on the web, Google looks for fresh, original content for information. The content needs to be original, the content needs to be fresh, and it needs to be updated regularly. I'm going to repeat that. The content needs to be fresh and updated regularly. I often ask clients what, how often do they update their website and what do they consider that update to be. I'm told they update their website often, once a month. When asked what the updates are, I'm told it's an image or two and a couple of words. That does not constitute an update as far as Google's concerned. Google needs you to be adding on at least 700 words of content on a weekly basis depending on your industry. Um, you need to be doing this to be able to rank on Google. If you're not doing this, it's generally because you don't have the time to update your website. If you don't have the time to update your website, somebody else will be updating their website, which means your ranking will decrease, which in turn will mean your website will become a pointless exercise. The other thing that people battle with is indexing of the website not understanding what elements of the website Google looks at before it ranks your website. So how do you fix this? Well, you need to know what your client thinks you sell. If you are of the opinion that you sell water-based degreases and your client is looking for soap, well, your client is never going to find you. He's going to find somebody else. What you also need to know is that when people go to Google, and this is a stat according to Google, people type in on average 4.5 words in a search, not one word or two words or half a word. They generally focus their search around what they're looking for and they ask a question. Now, if you remember in the previous slide, what I said was people are looking for information. They're not looking for product. And when you look for information, you start off by asking a question, hence the 4.5 words in the search. You need fresh content. And yes, that is industry dependent. If you happen to be a plumber in Vintook, you probably find there are not a lot of people in Vintook who are online on the web. So if you updated your website once a month with an article, that would be fine. On the flip side, if you are in the business of selling ADSL, you would probably need to update your website at least four times a day for you to start ranking properly. You'd need to understand that your content must be original. You cannot, under any circumstances, plagiarize or copy content from other people's websites. Google will penalize you by not indexing your website. You need to also, like I said earlier on, understand that when you're talking about SEO, search engine optimization, it's about the indexing of your content so that Google can find it correctly. PPC is pay-per-click. 
you will get an indirect benefit from SEO on your PPC campaign if your SEO has been done correctly. Social media. You can no longer run a campaign independently. So you would need to have some sort of a paid campaign. You would need to make sure that your keywords or SEO strategy is correct. Then you need to have your social media working for you, i.e. you would need to have a blog and some sort of a community forum where people are talking about you, which is why you would need to use Facebook. Then you would need to do your keyword research. Now, when you do your keyword research, this is the first point of departure for any website. Not what you look like, not how pretty the website is, but really and truly what are your customers looking for. Coming back to that question of what do your customers think you are selling, not what do you think you are selling. And then also using words that people don't want to use, like for instance the word cheap. I've used it a couple of times because very often people will say, I don't like the word cheap, it cheapens my product or it will cheapen my website. Again, sad reality, we type in the word cheap accommodation when we're looking for cheap accommodation. When we're looking flights to fly down to Cape Town, we don't type in affordable flights, we type in cheap flights. When we're looking for ADSL, we don't type in affordable ADSL, we are typing in cheap ADSL plans. So again, getting the right words are critical to getting your website strategy to work for you. So as you can see, some of the free tools that you can use are seobook.com, it's something that you can install on Mozilla Firefox and it allows you to see what other clients or your competitors are using for their keywords. One of the tools we use is Word Tracker that is unfortunately paid for, but it does give you a very good idea again of what your competitors are doing, using, where you should be. And then obviously AdWords from Google also again gives you a very good idea of the volumes of traffic that you can expect. Um, be warned when you build a website. Pause. Um, sorry, I just had to pause there. Uh, technology, as all, is wonderful. Um, great, now they're throwing me off my, my, my kilter. Now I have to come back and do the whole AdWords things again. Okay, so moving on to the slide. Before I bounce off to our free tools and show you how the tools work, I'd like you to understand that when we talk about certain items, what they are. The first point of index that anybody ever looks at, i.e. Google, is your title. This is where your question needs to be answered. The next point of index is your heading on your website. If you don't have your heading speaking to your title, it means there's no consistency and Google will not give you the benefit of that indexing. Then you need to make sure, excuse me, that you have the words that are being used in that question are mentioned in the content on your website. If you can get those three items right, chances are you will get a much better ranking a lot quicker than most of your competitors. But before you can actually get to these kind of keywords, you do need to understand how to build your keywords. There are really three main pillars of keywords. You've got your buying keywords, your browsing keywords, and your comparing keywords. Most people want to build a website that is focused around buying keywords. Unfortunately, when I have decided to buy something, I am very specific about what I'm looking for. So I would be wanting a 64 gig iPad 3 that is white. Unless you are selling that to me, the chances of me getting to your website are slim. A browsing keyword means I still don't quite know what I'm looking for. So I would simply type in the word iPad and see where I go. Comparing keywords, on the other hand, is where I start asking questions, because I'm now going to ask you, what is better? Is an iPad better than a Samsung Galaxy Tab? So now the questions are more focused. This is what we refer to as long tail keywords. Now we come back to the questions of, are you famous? What do you think you sell? What does Joe Bloggs think you sell? If you can get these right, then you can start getting your website to rank. Now, as you've seen earlier on, you need to write fresh original content. One of the biggest challenges for any person running a business online is that original fresh content. So what we have done with Telepreneur is to put together a package that will allow you to get that fresh content without you having to stress about it. And one of the things I'm going to show you now is how we go about doing that research. One of the tools that we've used here on your screen you should be looking at now is something called Word Tracker. 
And what we've done is I've typed in cheap ADSL, Google South Africa, to show you the kind of depth that we go to. Most people would assume that the best place to go to would be the keyword ADSL because we have 74,000 searches for that. What they don't realize is that there are 15 million websites out there that you are competing for in that space, which then makes it really difficult for you to start ranking. But if you scroll down, you will find questions that are being asked. What is uncapped ADSL? And if you look, there's 5,400 searches. Granted, not as many searches, but there's no competition. So if you had a website where your index page referred to what is uncapped ADSL, your chances of ranking are far greater than if you simply focused on what is ADSL. You can see the difference and you can see the competition. Again, if you go to cheap ADSL, the question in line number two is what is ADSL? 74,000 searches, only 1,810 websites with that index. This means that's where you should be going. And a lot of your competitors will focus on the wrong space because they think everybody wants to be on ADSL. So with Telepreneur, what we have done is we've put together a package that allows you to get four articles, four blogs every month with us doing the keyword research for you because we do understand this part. We then take it one step further and go into something that we call Google Insights. Now what Google Insights will tell us is how often that word has been searched. As you can see, I again have used the word cheap ADSL. And on the right you will see there is out of a scale of 1 to 100, a lot of people are searching for cheap ADSL. We can then also narrow that down to which country is searching for ADSL. And we can even see the type of words that are being used. So people are searching for cheap ADSL plans. It's becoming a trend because that's what somebody's advertising. Now, most people won't look at this. They will simply go down the route of ADSL. And if they do that, they will find that their website won't work for them. This is where we, together with Telepreneur, will work with you to actually put together a keyword strategy to get you to page one. And then we will also then go and have a look at something called the Keyword Traffic Estimator, which we use on Google AdWords. What you can have a look here as well, and this is very important, People assume that the minute they're on page one, they're going to get millions and millions of hits. Unfortunately, as you can see, uh, Cheap ADSL South Africa has only got 1,000 searches. If we narrow that down to get a more precise search, you will see that it will come down to 260 searches for the just the phrase Cheap ADSL. So when you go about building a keyword strategy, you need to make sure that the leads that you are generating out of it are focused, and this is what we do when we work with you. So coming back to what it is that we're talking about, um, I'm going to now go back there, thank you very much, is we're finding a way to give you the right kind of keywords by talking to you and asking you how do your clients speak to you. We will then create a feeder site for you that will allow people to find you. So there's no need for you to go and change your current website because that will generally cost a lot of money. So we will rather build a feeder site that is focused on SEO and drive the traffic to you with the SEO requirements met. So you need to make sure you have a minimum of six pages, your titles are correct, your keywords are correct, your headings are all correct. We will then also work with you to submit you to the correct um, search engines. Like for instance, everybody assumes that having Google Analytics is great, Google will find you. But if you're in a competitive environment, not being on Google Webmaster Tools and not submitting your sitemap could be to your detriment, and we do these items for you. The question then is obviously, this sounds great, what does it cost? Well, Telepreneur, the package that they've put together works out at 1,500 Rand a month. There is no contract, thanks to the CPA. What we provide are four 700-word articles, which if you had to go and do them yourself, you're looking at a four and a half to 5,000 Rand cost. We will then also create four 300 word blogs every month, i.e. every week you will get one article and one blog that we will use to link to your website and drive traffic to your website. We will also give you a free Google AdWords voucher to the value of 500 Rand. Um, good thing here, we are a Google Engage partner and as a result of that we are one of the few companies that will have Google set up your AdWords for you and run your AdWords campaign for you. We also give you a free SEO toolkit and top-level domains that are focused in and around SEO. 
that's it. It's very simple, very straightforward. We have over 1,500 page one rankings so far in South Africa. And really, um, if you have any questions around SEO, around Google, and you are in the area, we do run regular free Google workshops where we do go into far greater depth. We have five minutes left for questions. If there are any, please fire away. Lovely. Thanks, Kath. I'll come sit with you and let's have a look if we can see if any questions are coming through. I think one of the things that um, I don't know if Kenneth mentioned, I was trying to listen in from the, the outside there, is that um, IPCO also guarantees page one ranking um, after three months, so that, in other words, providing you give all the correct content to them, they can set it all up for you, that within three months we'll get you on page one, which is obviously what the advert was about all today. For those of you who, um, sorry, I'm just trying to expand my list to see if there's any questions coming through with hands up. Okay, um, let's have a quick squiz. Marius Else, we see you've got your hand up. I'll open up your mic. If you've got a mic, you're more than welcome to ask the question. Hi, yeah. Hi, uh, can you hear me? We can hear you perfectly. Thanks, Marius. Um, I just want to uh, find out the difference between a, a CMS and a statics site. Um, would Google necessarily pick up that there's new content on the CMS site due to the fact that um, the pages are generated on on the fly or um, how does it treat it? On Marius, thanks for that question. If I understand you, you want to know if there is a benefit to using a content management or CMS built website opposed to a static site. Based on the, um, the pages are created dynamically. Depending on the CMS that you use, there are advantages over a static website. There are certain tricks that CMSs have in the background, like social bookmarking and a tool that they use called Pingler, which automatically updates Google every time you update the website. So the short answer is yes, there are definitely um, advantages to using a CMS over a static website. I hope that answers your question, Maurice. Sorry, Maurice, I closed your mic because we had some interference coming through from the background. If not, please raise your hand again. Um, just going through, there's a couple of questions here. Uh, we've asked to put the previous screen up from the IPCO web presentation. I hope that helps for you. Um, Gerardus, Gerard Biedenberg. Will they set up a website, me, and what will it cost? Okay. Just to answer that, when we build a feeder site, it is constituted as a normal website. We will build the first six pages as part of the agreement. We will not do a custom development. What we do is we send you to a website called templatemonster.com. There you can choose exactly the website that you want. Obviously, we do not use Flash because Apple does not support Flash, but all you need to do then is select your look and feel and we will then take that and implement that for you on the CMS. What that does is it helps a lot for you to understand exactly what you're going to get as a finished product and saves a lot of time and cost in development. Just to give you all an example, if we were to build a custom designed website, the quotes start at six and a half thousand and go up to 300,000. So custom dev sites are expensive. There are better and more efficient ways to do it, which is why we use a combination of our SEO skills with Template Monsters websites to save you that. Otherwise, it really it does become an expensive exercise. I hope that answers your question for you. Wonderful. Also, just scrolling through the list here, are there anybody else with their hands up? Maurice, um, Maurice we've answered, I think. I'm just having a look at Michael here. Okay, that's sorted out. Nobody else has got their hand up, is it? Just trying to see any other questions. Lovely. Well, obviously, I think Kenneth has done an exceptional job. Robert, I think we've already answered. He wanted to see the previous screen. But maybe just to give you a bit of an idea of how the process works, um, and just to finish off the presentation, uh, maybe Kenneth can step you through it all. <laughs> I'll come in. Literally, if you go to our box.co.za website, um, if you go into products, you'll find the IPCO web um, URL sitting there that you can click on that. There's four options. What Kenneth has been speaking about tonight and the one that we obviously recommend 
is the 1500 Rand guaranteed search ranking um, offering. Once you've registered and gone online, then a whole process comes into play where, first of all, well, I'll let Kenneth uh, explain the steps to you as how it all works. So what we do in this process is once you've gone to the registration and clicked on it and selected your package, assuming you've gone to the 1500 Rand package, we will then send you a welcome pack which will invite you to communicate with us. In that will be a questionnaire and a set of items that will lead you to get the right thinking for the questions for your website. Then we will ask you for the 10 keywords that you think you should be ranking for or that you want to rank for. We will then take that back internally and begin the keyword research process that I demonstrated earlier on. Once we have selected keywords that we will feel have the least amount of traffic, um, the most amount of traffic, the least amount of competition, we will send that back to you for your approval. Once we've agreed on the keywords, we will then create the article and you will approve the first article. In the same time, we will have asked you to go to Template Monster and select your look and feel. If you already have a website, we will copy that current look and feel so the branding remains the same. Once you have agreed to all of those things and sent the mail back to us, we will then assemble everything for you and send you a hyperlink for you to approve. Once you've approved that, your website will then go live. This entire process is a consultative process, so it is not a case of we will dictate how it works, but we will refer you to our best successes, as in we will say this is how you can get the best traffic. Um, we do ask that you allow us to do what we do best in providing the website for you in the way that we feel it will work. Um, we build and do SEO extremely well. We don't do glass very well, and as such, when we are asked to allow other people to pilot our plane, we tend to say no. So I'd just like to be very clear on that. We will get you to rank, and as Mark said earlier on, on the guaranteed package, we guarantee you ranking on Google South Africa, page one within 90 days. The guarantee is if you are not ranking, you will stop paying, and we will keep doing our job until you do rank. Your 90-day period starts from when you start going live, not when you start paying. Um, I have another question here. Does Vox provide a ranking tool to help rate a client's website to help us sell? We can provide you with a free tool to start. It's called IBP, Internet Business Promoter Tool. It is expensive if you choose to buy the paid for version and if you are going to go down this road I would recommend you purchase it for yourself. It gives you very good insight on how the client's website is ranking, um, what their errors are, what their errors, how you can correct those errors. If you don't want to spend the money, the first and best place that I always go to and refer to everybody to is seobook.com and there you can download the tool which will allow you to see where the client is ranking, see if his titles, his keywords have been done, if they haven't been done, and very importantly allow you to look at his competitors who are ranking number one and tell him what is the difference between why he's not ranking and they are ranking. I hope that answers that question. Thank you. Lovely. Well, Kenneth, I think, uh, as you say, we like to try and keep these things to the time frame allocated. To all of you who attended this evening, thanks very much. I hope you've got a lot out of it. If you've got any more questions, you obviously know how to get hold of us. Um, and yes, as Ken said, they will also be hosting free workshops around the country. Um, but from our side, once again, a big thank you to Kenneth. I did have one last question to someone who came in late. We will, we did record this session tonight, so hopefully we can get it up on the website within the next day or two. We were about two or three minutes late, so you might just miss out the first part. So we'll try and get that up onto the site as soon as possible. For the rest, thank you very much indeed. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it and look forward to seeing you in the next webinar soon. Thanks so much. Cheers for now.